you can find someone like me to help you massage your, yourself externally, then do so. But what we are showing here, you could do yourself at home. This is going to really help you out. Don't knock it until you tried it, okay? So what I'm, doing, what I'm doing here, I'm holding on to the sacrum. So right now, Anton, have you clench? Mm -hmm. Yeah, clench your glutes. Can you feel, feel your tailbone? Mm -hmm. Yes. And relax. Good. So if you can do this at home as well, Anton, yes? This will mm -hmm. really help you out. And this kind of posture here will really help you to, because every time you clench your tailbone here, mm -hmm. all the muscles, they engage, mm -hmm. yes? So what is this, uh, in on the human form, in between the genitals and the anus, there's a point there, what we call the perineum. The perineum is, is where all the muscles in, this, in the lower extremity, extremities here, they all connect at this point. It's a center point. I'm not making this shit up. If you have acknowledgement of that area, that means now your body is really centered. Yes? So when we clench our glutes, uh, when you clench it, can you feel, can you feel uh, Anton, what I'm, what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like before, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, There's a tailbone here, but underneath the tailbone, between your bum, between your bum hole yeah, and your yeah. and your penis, mm -hmm. can you feel? There's a point here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In, in inside. Time, yes, yeah, yeah, that is the part that really you want to have attention of. Mm -hmm. you, you understand? Mm -hmm. Was that point there is actually right here? It's centered here. Okay. You understand? Mm -hmm. The perineum, from that point there, goes in. Uh, the, the, there is a. There is a. What's what we call really like a sim, uh, metaphoric or like a if a it's not a real thing, but it's something you you must imagine. It runs from the perineum, and it goes all the way up to the spine, and it exits or enters through the crown. And this thing here, if you have, if you have awareness of it, it means now your, your your spine becomes very supple. Yes. Okay. Let's continue. Okay, for the viewers at home who ask why I wear this mask, it's not because of the coronavirus. <laughs> but maybe it will be for eventually, I don't know. Uh, the reason why was I use Tiger Bomb, it gets very strong and I don't want to inhale it all the time. But furthermore, if I'm ill, I don't want the person to be to, to catch my illness. And if the if the person is ill, I don't want them to catch my virus. It's that simple, okay? And also it looks cool. <laughs> Anton, have you ever used Tiger Bomb? Sorry. Have you ever used this one, Tiger Bomb? Yeah, yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay, so Anton said that he, he's used it before, but I don't trust him. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, I have to test it out, yeah? So what I'm doing, what I'm, doing I'm just going to rub a little bit here, and then tell me if it stings, yeah? Mm -hmm. Anton, you understand what I mean? I have to, I have to, I have to do that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's a very small, slight chance that someone could be allergic to it. I never know. Mm -hmm. Yeah? So I'm holding on here. And to just now just start shape moving. And my intention here is to really move the spine as well. I mean, Anton, you're starting to feel the spine, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Really important. So remember, we're not working with the muscles and tendons and ligaments. We're working to free the spine. And the more that Anton is able to breathe in gently, the more his body with the breath of the, in, of the, of the nose, the more the body is going to be able to expand. And when the body expands, all the internal organs will be less hampered. And also the skeletal structure will be less compressed. Yes, the body basically is going to stop being more pressure inside it. Good <laughs> so I'm holding on to here, uh, basically I'm lifting up Anton's pelvis. The, tel the spine's right here, we're lifting it up, and it's allowing it just to nestle a bit more. Mm. 
views at home, you could do the same thing. Wait. What you do is you lift up your hip like this. It's almost like you're, it's almost like you're fudging the ground. Yeah, F U C K in the ground. Literally that. And just drop, you know, just move your hips around, move your tailbone around. The more you do this, the more you're gonna start getting awareness of your tailbone again. A lot of you, if you if you, if you have low low self confidence or low confidence, do the thing, do this thing, man. You start developing a tailbone again. <laughs> you start getting more balanced, and furthermore, you'll be able to start expressing yourself again. Now here's another thing, I, I can massage you through clothes. <laughs> I don't need to just be skin on skin. So for the viewers at home who've asked me like, what, what is it, this thing that I do? I'll be honest with you, there's no name for what I, what I do. <laughs> for, for me to practice this, uh, for me to practice what I do in the UK legally, I had to do a course in in massage therapy, I did a I did an ITIC level three, but a part of that course it involved the element of anatomy and physiology, so I had to pass that course in order for me to do this legally in the UK. But with that said, the techniques and the movements that I do, there's no name for it, because I did not learn from any other school. What I have learned is from my grandfather and my auntie. From seven years old, I used to watch them help other people. But with that, I also practice our family tradition, Li Qi Gong. It is a form of Qi Gong. And what it is, is internal martial arts. So we practice it daily. But also along with that, we practice meditation. So everything that you see me do is derived from these practices. Kai Gong is strong, man. <laughs> Probably strong. So I'm working the glutes at the moment, but if you notice, I'm actually moving the whole right on the spine. <coughs> and this rocking, this movement, along with Anton's breath, is eventually going to allow the tension just to go. Tiger bomb is applied directly on the skin. And what that does is it starts putting heat into the area that you apply the tiger bomb. And heat is or warmth is used to help muscles relax. So I have faith that there's a bunch of you out, out there who's, who's watching my videos and you guys are learning what I'm doing. So I look forward to meeting you one day. One day you guys are gonna knock on my door, I see you and you guys can be, yeah, Kai, let me massage you. <laughs> I'm waiting for that day, man. <laughs> when people ask me like, who massages me? And at the moment, no one, man. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? The... I'm, always, I'm showing all this love, man. <laughs> So one day, one of you guys are going to 
knock on my door and say, yeah, Kai, let me help you now, brother. <laughs> I'm like, thank you. Because <laughs> we all need help, man. <clears throat> A beautiful story to tell is this. There is an elephant. He thinks he's a, the king of the jungle. He's the biggest animal in the, in the jungle. And you know, he goes around the jungle and says, hey, look at me, look how big I am. I'm powerful, I'm strong. Everyone must be scared of me. And then one day, he sees Mr. Mouse walking by. And he goes, Mr. Mouse, move out of the way or I'll squash you. <laughs> you puny little animal. <laughs> And Mr. Mouse like, okay, mate. <laughs> and you know, he, he runs away. One day, Mr. Mouse is in the jungle. You know, he's eating some berries or something. <laughs> and he hears like someone crying. He hears like, who is? He hears someone crying, so he goes towards the bushes. And in the bushes, he sees Mr. Elephant. You know, Mr. Powerful Elephant, he's crying. He's like, oh. So Mr. Mouse says, hey, brother, what's wrong? And Mr. Elephant says, oh, it hurts, oh, it hurts so much. And Mr. Mouse says like, what's, you know, what's hurting, brother? So Mr. Elephant with his trunk, he points down to his hoof, his, his, his hand, whatever it is. He goes, it hurts, here." Yeah. So Mr. Mouse, he runs and he sees that there's a fawn stuck inside the elephant's Oof. So Mr. Mouse with his both his hands, he's and he pulls out the pulls out the phone. Straight away, Mr. Elephant's like, ah, oh, oh, you helped me. I can't believe it. Like I, I, you're so small, but you you you've helped me. From that day forth, Mr. Elephant always asks Mr. Mouse to, Mouse to sit on his head. <laughs> Look at my brother, <laughs> he's small, but he's strong. <laughs> but the moral of this tale is this, no matter how strong you are, no matter how strong you believe you are, you're always gonna need help, always. So with our bodies now, you know, I practice Qigong and I meditate, you know, daily. But within my own body as well, I know I'm very aware that there's areas that I cannot touch myself. There's areas that I cannot reach myself. So I'm waiting one day for one of you guys to come help me. <laughs> I might be 90 years old by then. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully I age like Yoda, don't it? <laughs> but yeah, that's a beautiful story. I made that up. <laughs> but, but it gets the point over. So likewise, there's another thing that I can advise you guys at home as well. Try to not click your own body, man. If you click your own body, it's almost like a dog trying to chase his own tail. Yeah, like for myself, if there's a knot there, if I try to reach for it, I must contort my body in such a way for me to reach it, which means now, by me trying to touch this area, this part of my body now has been jeopardized. I, I lose my integrity. So I strongly advise you guys, if you have any tension or not to something, do not try to reach for it yourself. There's implements that you can you know, lie on and all this kind of stuff, that's good. But don't use your own body to try to reach for stuff. Because you'll just end up knotting yourself further. And also with like cracking as well, if you crack your body too much, it's not good. If you're finding that you need to crack your neck, it means the muscle or something like that is pulling your neck towards, towards this, this direction. But if you crack your neck without releasing the muscle, it's just gonna eventually go back again. So you just end up just cracking your neck over and over again. If you can find some help and do so. I'm kind of going a bit hard now. <laughs> Still playing the bomb. <clears throat> mm. 
Yeah, Anton's got a massive knot of that here. So remember you guys at home, if you run your hands down straight, you get to feel where the knots are. You will notice if the body, if the person that twitches, it gives you an idea of where the knot is. But he twitches here. <laughs> but once you've located where the knot is, remember to do this, just go in with circles, yeah? Go in with circles. Yes, yeah, so we're holding onto the shoulder. You want to keep your elbow, pull it into your lower dantian, or bring it into your core, and then you can lift. Don't lift with your shoulders. And when we lift like this, it's just reminding Anton, yeah. or reminding the horse just to let go. <laughs> How's that feel, Anton? So today, today I have uh, my student Sergi filming for me. <laughs> so I'm very. <coughs> so you guys remember to leave a comment down below to thank him. <laughs> so now the weather in the UK, we're kind of approaching springtime, but it's still too cold to make outside videos. But as it gets warmer, we will definitely do more videos outside. I prefer doing videos outside. It's more fun, isn't it, Sergio? Yeah. Yeah, more fun. So then we can go into the public and we can help people. We can find people. Everyone needs help, man. Yeah, this patting out do it sounds loud, but I promise you it's very gentle. It's like it's just a thud. We do this just to kind of create we call it a bounce, so we're bouncing it in. Boom. But this movement here is derived from internal martial arts. You're able to project the energy in. Rather than like splashing on water. You're not able to send the pulse inside. You guys can test it at home. Next time you go to swimming, if you can film actually, if you just splash your hand on top of the surface of the water, it just disperses like that. But if you cup your hand and you go like that, you see a bubble appear down here. Go boom down here. So that's the same thing we're doing really. Just be gentle when you do it. Especially like kidney areas. If there's any organ that's having a, having a problem, don't do it too hard. Around the lung area, you could be, once you relax the muscles, along with the person's breath, let's relax it, along with the person's breath, once they ex expand a bit more, you can start sending the pulses in and you can really help to loosen up the, the lungs. I'm going to into the troubled salt shoulder, this one is the tight one. Yeah, this muscle here. 
the Anton's right hand is, and the moment this shoulder here is being raised up. So this can massage all these muscles, but at the same time helping it. So what happens is uh, if you do a movement too much, all the muscles that are being used to do that movement, they start getting tight. So what you do is you unfold the arm out, unfold it, relax the muscles. Just by giving it a bit of tension, the bottom muscle relaxes that. Then once again, just move the arm in another position. Never force the limb to go into a position it doesn't want to go. Just follow the body. The body tells you what it needs. Just let the, the limb unravel. And then, once again, just massage all the muscles. When you lift your, the arm from underneath here, you're also stretching the, pec, the pecs, this muscle here. Yeah, when you lift it up from here, you're stretching these muscles here. So at the moment, Anton's neck's being pulled as well. This is, this is, there's tension here, so it's the head's, the, the cranium's being pulled to one side, it's torsioning off as well. Just playing with tiger bomb in this cervical area. Unravel the limb, unravel it. What is this when you when you're not conscious of your body? The body starts kind of tightening up and it becomes like a puzzle, isn't it? It starts twisting up. So when people come here, I help to relax the mind, but then I have to like unravel them. So literally, I like to describe it as a physiological chess. Nice. <laughs> yeah, the scapula starts with rearing itself now. So this one's more free. Just tight here. Yeah. 
So you guys notice some people are I'm very soft and very gentle on them. But then in Anton's case, he's like a he's like a horse, this guy. <laughs> he doesn't mind me doing going a bit more rough. I can feel it. He's like with Sergi as well. When I was working with Sergi, I was like pretty rough with Sergi. With some people there, was there a bit more it depends on the person, you know. The energy that I put in depends on what the person kind of needs or what I feel that they can take. Everyone is different. And that's why way to describe that is that we're all flowers, but every single flower is different. You look at a field of flowers, every flower is different, huh? We all treat everyone different. This guy's a hard worker. I know he's a hard worker. I see it. You work hard, I will work hard for you as well. <laughs> I can tell you're a hard worker, man. How's that feel, Anton? Good, good. <laughs> <laughs> Relaxing boy. So the arms here, look, after a while there should be like ropes. <laughs> you just boom. <laughs> So everything gets caught up here, what I'm doing, I'm unraveling it and then I'm, I'm, I'm basically dispersing the energy so it, can, so it can continue down. Depends on the person, some people it's, it's tight up there and I have to disperse it upwards. It just depends on the person, man. The more you guys can practice the meditation, the thing that we did in the beginning, the more you're going to start becoming aware of your own body. You start becoming aware of your own perspective. You know, you, you start realising that, wait a minute, Oh, the reason I'm reacting like this or that is because, oh, this person is making me feel this way or that way. So the more you can practice meditation, the more you can start observing your personality, your ego. You observe yourself. You're literally looking at the mirror, with, the mirror within you. And when you're able to do that, you'll notice that your life starts becoming much more easier. You start noticing a lot of things that you've in the past, it might have like pissed you off or whatever it is. But then after a while, these things will not pee you off anymore. <laughs> but you start noticing how you react to things. You think, wait a minute, I don't need to react that way. Because come on, real talk, innit? At the end of the day, a lot of things that are bothering us, if you think about it, are not happening to you at the present moment. A lot of times when we get peed off and stuff like that, it's just stuff that's already happened, man. Let it, just let it be. Let bygones be bygones, man. But when you start practicing meditation, you know, like I said, it's a self-study, isn't it? And you can start, really start having a relationship again with your own body. And it should be a beautiful relationship, man. If you can't find love, man, Start finding love within yourself. Start loving your body. Loving the horse or the vehicle that's driving you around, that's taking you around. And if you do that, eventually you'll start finding love outside. And it'll be a proper love as well.
Ox muscle is very tight now. Check out Anton. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Anton's right handed. Just like this. You're breathing a bit better now, aren't you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, if your shoulders are hunched up all the time, it means your diaphragm is not working properly. <clears throat> the more so you're more relaxed your shoulders get, and the more your shoulders can just drop or sink, much more better. Pulling the scapula away from this to separate the muscle that's underneath it. Relax, relax. Leave your head, leave your head. Just leave your head. So good enough. <laughs> this um, the neck gets pulled back. There, that's better. So now it's starting like to look more straight now. As in like the body's sinking down more evenly. Relaxing traps now. Relax the levato spinati, the thing that keeps our neck erect. Relax that. Then Anton's head's no longer pulling back. But I understand that he also does painting and decorating. So, the prolonged use of his neck looking up to paint the ceiling has caused this pull. So, now I can really relax that for him. Yeah, come a bit closer, Sergi. I've relaxed more of it now. Okay, Anton, take a gentle breath in. Let's it out. Okay. Let's do it again. There we go. Gentle breath in. Let's it out. Yeah, that's one correction. So once we re relax it now, then we can help this vertebrae. Relax a bit further. Yeah, let it out. Yeah, that sounds fine. There we go. How's that feel, Anton? 
っこい So now this this refreed this um, this vertebrae, the cervical, which is clipped, is the first collarbone, which is located there. And now his neck is no longer pulling this direction. Yeah. Relax all the muscles around it. And here, how's it feeling here now? Yeah. So in the beginning, when I touched here, it twitched, and this twitch here was due to this pulling here. His neck was pulled here. So now that we freed that. This area here now is no longer blocked, so now he's no longer twitching here. So you guys will find at home, like, you might find, you might think there's a problem here, but then it's actually linked to somewhere else. <laughs> yeah, it's not necessarily where you think it is. So if you come to people like me, we'd be like, nah, mate. <laughs> you think the problem's here, nah, the problem's up here, mate. <laughs> So now we're going to relax these muscles here, obviously, use them a lot. This one. Everything's relaxed here, holding onto the muscles or the fascia. Just holding the whole group, everyone will do them, just shake this, this bone. Let all the muscles disperse around it. How's that feel, Anton? It feels good. <laughs> it feels proper. Oh. Who's going to help this? Who's going to do this for me, huh? <laughs> All good. <laughs> so Anton, at the moment, he's contemplating to be a student. <laughs> so he's, he was he was meant to come like a few months ago, but it's only now he comes. <laughs> I think he's laughing. <laughs> <laughs> But he's thinking his head that, oh, I think I should see Kai. I think I should be a Kai student. <laughs> Am I right, Anton? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> see? <laughs> he's thinking, wow, this guy can do this. What can, what, what can he teach me, man? <laughs> oh, he Kung Fu very strong. <laughs> <laughs> and for you guys and girls at home, yeah, if you learn to do this, man, everyone's gonna be your best friend, I promise you. You go to a party, everyone's like, oh, hey Kai. <laughs> uh, hold me. <laughs> they ask me to hold them, but like, I'm as, as I'm holding them, I can feel tension and like, I, my, my mind is automatically, I'm trying to massage them. <laughs> you know what I mean? Everyone is your best friend at the party. <laughs> <laughs> Just give me enough beer and I can continue, man. <laughs> Look, Anton's hard work, I can feel it. This guy likes hard work, that's a problem. <laughs> you know, some people don't like it, this guy fucking he likes hard work. Like, what the hell? <laughs> Yeah! And then here, these, these forearms here, they proper, you have to put a bit of elbow grease in this one. So for you guys at home, if you're doing any... So here, um, make sure you keep the elbows into towards you. So yeah, so for the Qigong practitioners out there, remember just to bring your elbows into your, your Dantian. So when you have, so when you squeeze, you're not squeezing, you're not wearing your muscles away, you know. So you squeeze with your whole body. Bring your elbows into your dantian, into your core. So as I'm doing this, it lets the muscle relax now. This massage like this ain't gonna cut it, man. <laughs> That's not gonna cut it, bro. If you got if you try and massage someone who's a hard worker, like they're gonna get annoyed. <laughs> they're like, what the, they're like, what the hell? <laughs> so I, I massage like also I massage within my community, like you know Vietnamese people and Chinese people. 
If I do this like that, right, they, they get pissed off at me, you know? They say, come on, my uncle, right? <laughs> this is so funny, right? This is a true story. I'm massaging my uncle, because I just did his mum, so I was massaging her like softly. I mean, I kind of forgot in there. I was so relaxed. I was like, she's massaging like this. I mean, do you know what he said to me? And Vietnamese, well, I didn't say this, this is what he said. He goes, why the fuck are you massaging me like a whore? <laughs> I'm not, that's what my uncle said to me. He goes, like, why, are you, why are you massaging me so softly, man? You know? He said that in Vietnamese, by the way. <laughs> so I'm just translating what my uncle said. So I laughed. So I was like, oh, yeah, you want it? I was like, <laughs> I was giving that proper, proper power into the massage. He's like, oh, that's more like it. <laughs> so this one, this kidney here is, is getting a bit weak here. Anton, mm -hmm. this one here. Look at this arm! It's all loose now, man. Look at this arm! It's all loose now, man. It gave up fighting. <laughs> So you guys know it's at home when I'm when I'm doing whatever I'm doing, I don't hold my breath. Don't hold your breath, just let your breath just come in freely. The more you practice this, your body starts freely expressing itself. So whatever movements you do becomes much more like uh, like more natural, you know? Don't hold your breath. Some people find that when they bend over and they get like a slip disc, it's because they were holding their breath at that moment. You know what I mean? They're bending down to pick something up and they hold their breath to pick it up, but then they come back up and they feel, they feel the disc pop out. That's because they was holding the breath. Just breathe, man. Really savor that breath of life, man. So let your head drop, um, Anton. There we go, thank you. Let it drop like that, okay? Let's hold this for, for a bit. There we go. Yeah. And shake these quads. Unravel these as well. Muscles. If someone's calf muscles are tight, I promise you it's because here is tight. If you relax here and relax here, eventually the calf muscles will relax as well. So if someone's calf muscles are tight, do not attack here first. Do not go here to try to relax it first. No, 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 no. Relax here, relax the glutes, relax that, and then here. Because if you start from here, they're going to start going, ah! They'll try to kick you off them, man. 
So even with females, when they wear high heels, the calf mu muscles become so tight. It's because their back arches when they wear high heels. Now high heels make women sexy, innit? It makes the ass look big and all that stuff. But in order for the ass to look big, they have to curve their, their, their lumbar even further. And if you do it for too long, it's not good. Because I've seen, I've seen girls when they're walking on road and they're just deliberately making the ass look bigger. <laughs> But they have to curve the back to do that. So you can imagine that they, it's not natural. They're constantly doing that. So boy, not good, man. Okay, Anton. Yeah. Any pain here? No. You're good. So he hasn't got any sciatic pain at the moment, so it's good. We tend to find that people who sit down for too long, if their work means that they have to sit down for too long, you start getting sciatic pain. Or if people need to like lift up too much things as well. If you have to lift heavy things and you do not bend your knees to pick them up, eventually you start getting static pain as well. Let's do this one. Look like this one's tense, but I think that's better. Any pain here? No. Good. So we're we coming towards the last leg. And after this, I'm going to turn Anton on his stomach and we're going to really help him to breathe again. So for you guys at home, get ready to fall asleep. Which what I did in the last video, which I feel is really good, very beneficial, especially for the ASMR crew, is I'm going to consciously now attempt to put you to sleep, okay? So in the future, if you guys find all this stuff boring, you could just fast forward towards, towards the end. And you can watch the S like the proper relaxation you know the one the, the part of the video where I'm gonna put you to sleep <laughs> so these videos are for for quite a few different types of people one for ones who want to learn those who just find it entertaining for some reason <laughs> I don't know why <laughs> oh that's a good one but then there's also the crew that just wants to you know wants some relaxation Wants help falling asleep, so I can help you guys as well, man. So it's good that we can help as much people as we can. It's common, man. What's life about, you know what I mean? What is life about? Two more minutes? Two more minutes. Yeah. Okay. Is it a battery two more minutes? Mm. Okay. Just finish this one. Massage is not easy work, man. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta love what you do, man. It's, it's, I love what I do. It's not a work to me. I love it. So now I'm helping out. Yeah, shout out to my fiance who gave me this pendant. <laughs> if you're watching, I love you, Bebo. <laughs> She wants to make sure that I mention her, but she's worried that, you know, people don't know that I'm, you know, I've got a partner. <laughs> she's joking. Right. It says Fiesta. Yes, finish it. Right? Okay. No, 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 yeah, we have something. Okay, so we're going to pause it here. 